A Minister and Wheels Foundation Stone of Model Residential School at Mahur. Locals waiting for services of medical sub center lying unattended for seven years in Kludong. A very good morning to all the viewers of Carbinong Life News. You are visually baby with the latest news for today. Now the news in detail. Assam Minister for Welfare of Minorities and Development, Ranjit Datta unveiled the foundation stone of Model Residential School under the Pratham Mantri John Vikas Karyakram, Ministry of Minority Affairs at Hiwan Beram under Mahur Development Block. The unveiling was done in presence of North Culture Hills Autonomous Council CEM Debolal Gorlosa, MLA BB Hegjar Chairperson, and CHAC Ranu Langtasa and other dignitaries. Speaking during the function, Minister Datta said the residential school is aimed at educational empowerment for the students belonging to minority communities. It will be constructed at a cost of rupees 30.42 crores. This will be equipped with all the modern facilities and will be totally free. He informed that the institute after its completion would have an academic and administrative block hostels, teachers and staff quarters, guest house and dining cum kitchen. The British Jamalabar time, British job I have some. To us be on look, she long and half long. It's been educational half but I get on look of sub that. They half long with the government college. We only 100% government college problem. Dipu me ek hai. Ham log ka test pool me ek government college hai. British us time me sosa tha je half long me education half hona sahi. Je je silong me sosa tha se so silong me education half hona sahi. Lekin silong to education half to bana ke nahi bana hai. Lekin tourism ka half. CM Debolal Gorosa during his speech urged people to be focused on working towards the betterment of the district. With development on its path and the education sector developing tremendously under the present government, he said that he is hopeful that if the establishment of such schools continues in the Mahasau, the district will one day be an education hub for the people of this region. Honorable Prime Minister, Pradhan Manti Jan Vikaska scheme ka through se or Assam government sarkar. Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Himanta Vishal Sharma Ji, or Aska Yaka Foundation Stone Ka Chief Guest, Honorable Ranjit Datho Ji. Because you will be able to do this, you will be able to do this, and 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 you will be able to do this. Others who spoke on the occasion were 16 half-long LEC, MLA, BB Hegjar, Chairperson Ranu Langtasa and Executive Member Nandita Gorlosa. Deputy Commissioner Paul Barua briefed about the scheme during his welcome speech and the program concluded with a word of thanks by Gulmin Lal Liantang, MEC of Boral Constituency and Block Level Committee Chairman, Jatinga Valley Development Block. Others present during the meeting were executive members Lalram Siyama Darne, Namrothang Mar, Poudamning Driyame, Nipolal Hojai, MSS, Superintendent of Police, Jayan Singh and other officials from the district line departments. The program was attended by the high rank officials from Guwahati, Said Hasina M. Rahman, ACS, Secretary to the Government of Assam, Welfare of Minorities and Development Department, and Mahmoud Hassan, ACS, Director, Char Areas Development, Assam. Suraj Barman from Haflong, Karbing Long Life. 
In the latest news of authorities' failure to supervise government schemes, the PMAY house allotted to Langtuk Rongpi has been left incomplete since a long time. Langtuk Rongpi is a resident of Rua Rongpi village under Samilangso development block. Langtuk is a poor man and owing to this, the government decided to help him by giving him housing help through the PMAY scheme. However, even after a very long time of the beginning of construction work, the house is still incomplete. The contractor who had been allotted the work was Jivan Tiso. The beneficiary alleged that contractor Jivan Tiso had falsely claimed completion of the house in government records. Further, they also told that all money meant for the construction had been withdrawn. ไปแบงค์มาแบงค์ไปหลอดสอยหน้าประตังที่ปุ๊บวางวิ่งลูกอันนี้ทําไมนะวางวิ่งวางวิ่งหน้าประตังที่ปุ๊บประตังนักจัก
Further, villagers say that they are still deprived of Parivartan and that no leaders have visited their village to acquaint with their pains of sufferings. Following this, locals have called upon the Karbi Anglong Autonomous Council under the leadership of CEM Tuliram Ronghang and local MSC Ram Singh Timong for their swift intervention to start medical services in the greater interest and welfare of the people of several villages in the area. <laughs> Doai daru busta meni letum kacunam nok nok ason si medical long cedam na oh medical pus sorry la jitu farmasis la long sini letum cunam nang rong rong lo la si la so medical sub center ta ke do pante kavisi mitu puma pan sini letum dak lo dunga ratum mata lo te ningkan trok pope nang pudet pen non os nang patang dat pen non tuan ta la dak la hui apotak nang humri bang bela. Maduake take a ding at Tumbustame, Lassi, Lahui, Nankahum Rizi of Han, Lapen, Laklurdung, Arab, Kidu, Kisung, Keboy, Nankelangi, Pussy, Nilitum, Akehai, Autonomous Council, CM, sir, Tuliram Rohan, Alangi Pan, Prabjin, Ben Ladak, Kurdungar Lok, Kedu, Karbi, Mate, Imena Kai, Lahui Nangachelangi, of Han Sinilton, Tunerilla. Well, Santa Rang's report from Volongkomaji, Caribbean Long Live. And that is all we have with us for today. Thank you for watching Caribbean Long Live. Have a good day.